Hello everybody, Edward Kelly here, bankruptcy attorney for Worth Law, uh, answering your bankruptcy questions. We're in video three of a series on am I a good candidate for chapter seven, which again, a quick summary is a liquidation bankruptcy versus a chapter 13, which is a restructured plan that may pay some or all of your debt. Chapter seven is cut and run, which is what you want to do if you can. Uh, we talked first about whether you qualify income-wise, meaning do you make 45000 or more gross uh, or below for one person and about 10000 on top of that a piece for each additional family member. And then we talked about uh, in the last video, does the type of debt that you have uh, make you a good candidate, meaning basically you want unsecured, what they call non-priority or normal debt. Um, of course, you can reaffirm your car and home, things you want to keep, and just basically not consider those. But it's the rest of your debt enough and of the type that you will benefit. Uh, and as I mentioned, today we're going to talk about are you a good candidate to complete the process successfully. So uh, what does that mean? And here I'm going to talk more about reaffirmations. So let's say you do have a $500 car payment and a $500 mortgage, so you've got 1000 there. We calculated your gross income minus your expenses um, to say that you have, um, not including those car payments, um, about 1500 left. So there we've got a problem because, you know, number one, like we may not have included your Social Security in terms of qualifying you, but it comes back here in terms of your disposable income. So if you're too far over, that means after you make the car and house payment, supposedly you have 500 a month left. So you may have trouble getting past the trustee and successfully completing this. They may say, no, you are abusing Chapter 7 because you should be uh, earmarking that 500 a month in a 13 to pay for your debt. So long and short, you want to end up between 100 and 0 left over per month after all of your expenses. And that's not counting the debts you're getting rid of. That makes sense. Uh, if that's the case, then no problem. And this is, again, where although we didn't calculate your Social Security for purposes of being able to do a 7, all of your income is considered in terms of your disposable income on the back end, so to speak. So we want to make sure you're there about 100 to 0. And also, the flip side of that is you have to have enough money to make your payments. So let's say we did your calculations and... Um, considering now only your normal expenses and your car payment and your house payment, you're at negative 500. Well, you're not going to be allowed to sign those reaffirmations, which have to be filed with the court to keep the uh, vehicle. And you may have some problems with your mortgage. So, um, you know, you want a positive number. So again, everything we're getting rid of, you don't think about anymore. Everything you're keeping, you keep that payment. We use IRS standards for your expenses, and then we want everything to come out to about zero to 100 in disposable income per month. And that will mean that you're a good candidate to complete it. So we'll be back in the next series, uh, or actually in the next video in this series, with um, an overview of the entire process. That'll be a two-part overview. So I'll see you soon. Again, you can always reach out to me at edward at worthlawoffice.com, spelled just like the sign. Or call me at 580-478-3130. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.